Okay, so uh, good morning. I think that uh, that holds for for most of you, unless we have uh, people that are two hours uh, ahead of us. So I am here to welcome you uh, on behalf of the the partnership to advance through good computing. And we refer to it as PASS. To, to, this, uh, to this workshop. I am uh, serving as the PI of, of PASS, and I'm also a computer science faculty at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and uh, directing the Center for Isoput uh, Computing. So, uh, I would like to start by stating our uh, of of pass to uh, that is uh, you can see it on the uh, award if if uh, abstract on the NSF side and we are here to uh, expand the the usage and the technologies and methodologies of distributed high throughput computing and our goal is by that by doing this we will have an impact science and engineering a community and i ask you to see in this slide this workshop and probably that makes it now more obvious why we are we are running it a workshop pass is funded by the Office of Advanced Cyber Infrastructure by the NSF. We were just launched earlier this month, and it's a partnership between two entities. One is the Center for Isoput Computing at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and the other one is the National Open Science Grid Consortium. And we have what we argue is a strong history of putting science that is enabled by distributed high throughput computing. So our vision is very basic and straightforward. We believe that high throughput computing and research computing facilitation are powerful enablers of scientific discovery. So at the end of the day, what really matters, I believe, to all of us is scientific discovery. And we were very encouraged by what we read in a report from the National Academy of Science that recognized that many fields today and at some point they even say an increasing number of fields today rely on high throughput computing for discovery. So I, I hope that, and, and we are really very uh, fortunate to have a, over 150 individual registered to this workshop. And, and we hope that together we can make high throughput computing a more powerful tool in scientific discovery. So that should be in the back of your mind and the back of any of the discussions that are going to come up through this uh, workshop, that that's a vision and we hope that we share it with all of you who are attending this workshop. Maron, I'd like so to interrupt you just briefly. Your, um, yes. I think your signal may be cutting out a bit. So if you could turn off your video, that might help to make sure we can hear you. To turn off the video, okay. Ah, pa, pa, pa. That is, uh, yeah. Okay, video is gone. Let's 
So F, now I have to, So there are two components in uh, in PaaS. One of them is uh, is the component of services that uh, are offered by the Open Science Grid, and you will hear much more about it later. Which is the fabric of distributed high throughput computing services, and we the the, the highlights of these services are that we enable campus researchers who register as users with us to harness the capacity uh, of OEG to get more throughput for their uh, science application. So one important message out of this workshop is that uh, if you have researchers on your campuses that can benefit from high throughput computing, just encourage them to sign up as users. We also provide services that enable campuses and cyber infrastructure organizations to share their resources with external users, namely to allow application to cross administrative boundaries by moving from one administrative boundary to the other. And again, you will hear quite a bit about it later today and tomorrow. And also, if there is a group of researchers that spans uh, campuses or labs, we enable them to share resources to, through the services that OSG is providing. We also, offer technologies and they are coming in the form of the HD Condo software suite that enables you to do if you want uh, high throughput computing at home. You can deploy private, whether you want to do it on the campus or in the cloud of high throughput computing capabilities. We allow you to with these technologies to deploy private access points into what we refer to the OEG Federation. And I apologize for using the terminology. Keep it in mind, it will be all explained moving how the campuses and organization to deploy their own private uh, data audience and it allows campuses and resources a provider to deploy their private entry points. Uh, while we can host entry points and we can host a submission point for campuses and we can uh, host some data audience, we also allow you through these technologies that we distribute to do it uh, as, as private entities with the resources that you have. So uh, in this framework and, and with this as, as a background, we are doing our best to assist campuses in developing competitive NSF CC star proposals. And this is simply because, and it's not that simple, it's pretty foundational, that we share the CC star program vision of a distributed, a cyber infrastructure where resources are shared across autonomous entities, whether it is networking resources, whether it is human resources, or whether it's computing resources, we want to do our best to support the growing uh, number of the CC star, uh, if you want to call them we are also operating a, in a way that is aligned both what we offer now and our future plan, plans with the vision and goals of the NSF National uh, Cyber Infrastructure Coordination Services. And I uh, encourage you to read the blueprint that was published by the Office of Advanced Cyber Infrastructure to get a better feeling for how all these things come together at the national scale 
because we view this workshop as a piece in bringing together everyone. And this is really what we are about, what we have done in the past and what we are looking forward to doing past in the next five years is to work together to build a strong and thriving distributed high throughput computing community. It is based on sharing, it is based on mutual trust, it's based on working together. And you will hear here and there about our past accomplishment be, to motivate you to get researchers on your campus, engage with distributed high throughput computing and to recognize the value of research computing facilitation because there's so much out there and things are moving so fast that we have to make sure that the researchers are not lost in this web of, uh, if you want, the web of cyber infrastructure. So I will leave you with some extra time and with two key messages. First of all, please don't hesitate to contact us. If you have a question, if you have an idea, you have a complaint, you have a mystery to resolve, there are here three places you can access today. As past evolved, we will make it richer and hopefully also easier to, to navigate. The first one is the OSG support. If you are working on a CC star proposal, we have established a mailing list uh, that has been active already for two years. I think over the last two years, we uh, wrote almost uh, 50 collaboration letters to CC star proposal. And always feel free to uh, contact me directly. I, uh, you know, my, my inbox can sustain a lot of uh, additional traffic. But also I want to make sure that you leave this workshop with the, the motivated, I would say, to encourage researchers on your campus to get an account, Go just go to www.orgconnect.net and have them start uh, harnessing the power of distributed high throughput computing. So I wish you a productive workshop and I expect uh, a lot of uh, questions, ideas and complaints. We are only getting better if people complain. If everyone says that we are wonderful, we are not going to improve. So thank you for joining us and have a wonderful workshop. And uh, Lauren, I will return the power to you.